just hold it. I just want to um, let you guys know I'm traveling. So my niece may pop in here because she thinks it's funny to Zoom bomb, but I'm just going to prepare you. But I told her not to, but she's sick, so. We understand. Hey, Darren. There we go. Now you guys can hear me and see me. You are in. Inter interesting little Zoom start up there. Yeah, I got to, I remember I got to go in and allow video for folks. Otherwise, the uh, video is like by default blocked. It's interesting. Okay. Um, I did find out, uh, unless you heard differently today, Darren, Bo called me last night and said he wouldn't be able to make it tonight due to his um, daughter's graduation. So he, oh. didn't, he didn't realize that when we were setting it up. And then all of a sudden, it's like, uh oh. So anyway. Well, that's a big I'm deal. So, yeah. One that won't be here. That is the way life goes sometimes. Let's see here. So we have the other other four board members are here. Vedette's on the phone. Oh, that's uh oh there sure enough. Okay. Well, with that. Am I seeing everybody? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting adjusted here. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess with that, we can uh, start this meeting and um, call the media or order. And uh, Nicole, if you could show that uh, Bo Smith is absent and the rest of us are here, we can... Uh, Would you like me to take roll? Uh, um, yeah, go go right ahead. Okay. Um, Director Altman? Here. Director Starkey? Here. Director Roberts? Here. Chairman Short? Here. Okay. Um, I see Ray has a flag behind him there. If we could uh, conduct the Pledge of Allegiance at this time, appreciate it. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you all. Um, now we move on to our public comment portion of our agenda. Is there any public comment? There was no uh, public comments submitted ahead of time, I'm, I trust? Not that I've received, no. Is that correct? Okay. Chair, Chair Short, I will uh, I will chime in here for just a second. Um, we'll be talking about a letter that was received uh, ahead of time, but we'll save that for uh, the item for which it was meant. I think that'd be more appropriate. So um, I, item number six, we'll talk. Item about number that six, that, that would be fine. Yes, thank you, Autumn. Thank you. Um, there's no consent calendar, so we'll move on to approval of minutes of the May 4th meeting. Uh, is uh, everybody has had a chance to peruse those? I trust. Is there any changes or alterations to the minutes as they've been printed? Any public comment? We... Oh. Uh, go ahead, Valerie. I'll move that we approve the minutes. Thank you. We have a motion. Four. Do I have a second to approve the minutes? Second. second. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. I, I think Vedette might have got in there uh, also. Uh, is there any uh, public comment regarding approval of the minutes from the May 4th meeting? If not, Nicole, can you pull the vote, please? Hello? 
Uh, we can hear you, Nicole. Over, repeat. Yep. Okay. Uh, Director Roberts? Yes. Director Starkey? Yes. Director Altman? Yes. Chairman Short? Yes. And now we'll move on to the big item of the day, uh, item number six, awarding the contract for RCTA General Manager Services. Autumn, would you, would you like to start us off? Of course, thank you. So I'm sure everyone has read uh, my recommendation for commission action. Uh, that recommendation is, um, unchanged though some of you may have also, in fact, all of you received a letter that was submitted uh, by one of the people who was a proposer in this process. Um, I've obviously read through uh, his letter and um, to the extent that any of you want me to address what was said, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have, but um, I will just say that, you know, I looked at this process very closely. Um, many of the complaints that were made had to do with a, a misunderstanding about what process needed to be followed. Uh, RCTA gets its funding from Transportation Development Act, uh, and that's all state funding. And so we follow the state rules that, um, that are appropriate and here the, the TDA authorizing statutes are in the public utilities code. Um, and so that's where we look for uh, guidance on competitive bidding processes. And we're using a competitive bidding process that is appropriate in this instance and for these purposes. I think it was a very fair process uh, and I have no concerns about you moving forward today with my recommendation. But again, I will take any comments or questions that you have about the letter that was received? Thank you, Autumn. Is there any questions from the, uh, the Authority Commission about the letter that was received? Ray, I see your hand going up. If you would go ahead. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to um, confirm that the letter was titled letter of concern, right? It wasn't like a complaint. It was just a, I don't know. I've just never seen anything like that. It was like a concern. Yeah, so I think it was styled as a formal bid protest, but we're not in formal bid land. So if it was a formal bid and we had to respond to a formal bid protest. That's how I would have treated it. Um, that's not the case here. So acknowledging it uh, is, is fine, but we're not at a public hearing where, you know, we're taking formal testimony about a bid protest or anything like that. So um, not necessary in this instance. So yeah, sure, letter of concern, I guess we could, we could style it as that. Um, he, he voiced some concerns about the process and, you know, we don't have to ignore them completely. I, th I think we take, we take all constructive criticism seriously. And I think there's every reason to, to, to do that, um, but not a reason to stop the process from going forward in this instance. Maybe a reason to look at our policies and procedures, dust them off, you know, but, um, not a bar to, to action today. Thank you. And any other questions from the authority board? Um, Autumn, I would like to um, kind of do the uncomfortable thing of, of bringing up one of his points was, and, and I, I see that, that Tamara is uh, listening in, um, not stating that I distrust the process, certainly not stating that um, I'm not appreciative of jo the job that, that Joe and Dan are doing for us today. But the, the point that he brought up about the scoring process 
that kind of stood out to me was the cost. His his cost was was very far below um, the 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 mean, I guess, or the median um, of our bids, and I didn't understand the scoring as it related to that. And um, I'll scroll down to to page six here of our report as it starts uh, with general manager services. I mean, the raw scores and the rankings, I, I, I understand how those, those are calculated. Um, but uh, just for example, Tamara's uh, evaluation of the cost uh, at, you know, 20 points being the, the highest score and John Ando getting 15 and Mobility Advancement Group getting 17. I, I didn't understand how that how that worked with John coming in at the lowest cost and then coming in at one of the lower scoring um, people who uh, who who bid this um, with Suresh Ratnam's. Um, scoring she she scored john at a 16 and tmtp is an 18 and mobility advancement at a 15. um so you you i i hope you get where i'm going um it it, it seems it, it just confused me as to how how that could be and and how that part of the process worked and if you could Explain that out for me. I would. I would very much appreciate it. So, Chair Short, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable about asking uncomfortable questions at all. It's totally legitimate. Um, I will say that the the scoring was for the cost proposal as a whole, not the raw number at the end. And so, if I were scoring it, that might have been a place where, uh, you know, I could see some differences in the proposal as a whole versus just the end number. But I will also say that uh, Tamara Layton is here and she did actually score one of them. And, and I don't think it's inappropriate to ask her if she's willing to maybe add a little bit to that. That would be great, Tamara, if you would chime in. I, I very much appreciate your, your opinion about um, these things. We've worked together for a while and I, uh, I trust your opinion and I would very much like to under, understand more fully how this how this came about. I think that um, Autumn in summary um, pretty much hit it. The, the scoring is about taking a look at the, the cost proposal overall, aligning it with the work that is being promised and seeing if it makes sense. Does does this amount of work make sense with this amount of dollar amount? And the, you know, there are lots of different things that can um, make changes to that. I, you know, I could say that I, I take a look at the, when I'm, I'm reviewing a cost proposal and I do this regularly, I take a look at the whole package and say, okay, it isn't about the bottom line. It isn't about whether you're saving X amount of dollars. Is it that the dollar amount is reasonable? And I would say, well, you know, what are you going, when I, I also align that with the experience and knowledge that the professionals have who are going to provide the service and how many of those hours. So when you take a look at the experience and knowledge, the level of education, the resources that they have, you know, uh, and of course included in that package is all of my experience as a transportation and commission executive director, you put it all together in the same bucket. It would, it's not appropriate to just look at the bottom number. And in fact, for the work that I do for the Transportation Commission, it's not allowable. You have to take a look at the cost proposal as a value, an overall value to the community, not just a dollar amount as a bottom line. And sure, that's subjective, but scoring proposals is subjective. That's why we have more than one reviewer. In this case, two of the reviewers are 
um, knowledgeable, but not within our community. So they, they don't know Suresh Ratnam. He, he doesn't, you know, I mean, he's certainly on occasion answered a question uh, from Joe or Dan on occasion, but he doesn't work intimately with them. And the other reviewer um, from Humble County, she doesn't work with them at all. So, you know, we, we didn't, there's not some kind of, um, you know, a knowledge about performance. It's truly about what was written in the proposal, how the descriptions were, what the reviewer thought the overall value was and not cost as only a bottom line number. You, I'm gonna just jump in here, uh, Chair Short and say, if cost was the only thing, uh, Mr. Ando, he, he scored high there because um, he got 20 from one of the proposals and then 16 and 15. He actually did well in that category uh, as a category. So um, his, maybe his complaint that he, he didn't score well enough in that category um, wouldn't have helped him because he scored high there oh, as opposed to others overall. And, and I guess that's where my, uh, I realize I'm, I'm focusing on cost, but there was a, you know, a four part, um, well, five part, I guess, uh, evaluation criteria, uh, scoring matrix here, you know, cost, which was 20 points, scope of services, 30 points, experience and qualifications, references and then your overall proposal point so i understand where you're coming from tamra um that you have to look at the entire package um my my question and and it was truly spurred by his his uh correspondence was um you know my my cost for this proposal was you know cheaper than anybody else's and i don't understand why I was not scored highest among the three evaluators. And, and I thought it was a decent question. Um, and uh, I, again, not, not as the entire package, but just as that one line item, I didn't understand why that uh, didn't ring true with our three evaluators in that column. It um, did. So. It did. It, it did ring true in that column because he scored 51 of his points versus 39 for, for TMTP and 42 for mobility. So overall, when you add the three scores together, he was the highest scorer in that area, but the, you know, but he wasn't the highest scorer overall. This wasn't a this wasn't a bid where we decided to make cost the most important thing, um, and we can in the future if we want to do that. I mean, this RFP went out with these criteria, um, you know, from this board. So I think now with that in mind, and again saying that we can take we can take constructive criticism, and I I like constructive criticism. And, and if that means that we change what we think about cost in the future, I think we can certainly do that. Um, you know, if we want to give it more weight, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we, you know, we chose not to do that on this, on this matter. I, I am, I'm not suggesting that we should change change the process. Thank you for that though, Autumn. And I, I truly did not do the math. I did not do a total. Um, it's, uh, it, it kind of hit me in the face when you said that. Yes, he did score the highest. Uh, I didn't, I didn't actually do the math of all three and did not realize that he scored highest. Um, so, so thank you for that. Um, Tamara, did, did you have another comment there? I thought I heard you trying to chime in. Go, yeah, go I'm right actually I'm actually not sure. I mean, cost can be a higher score number, but you it, it's not allowable for most of my fund sources and likely for this fund source too, to have a single criteria overweight everything else. In, and in fact, in the request for proposals that I post, 
most often cost is at a maximum of 10% of the total score. And, and we generally call it value and not cost, um, which get, is a, a broader based sense, but it, it doesn't matter what the criteria is, if it's cost or the completeness of the proposal, whatever. Um, when you post an RFP, you need to have a balance of things. So anybody sort of winning in one area doesn't win the whole thing without consideration for the other areas and having um, a balanced proposal. I understand what you're saying, Tamara. And I'm, and I'm not say, trying to suggest that um, any, any one or the others um, should have uh, been granted this uh, just on one of the criteria of the other. Um, I was just trying to get that question answered. Just in that one column, that one, that one scope of the evaluation uh, process, um, I, I understand the, the, the difference between cost and value. You make a very, very good point. Um, uh, so I, that's, that's all I was trying to clear up is um, how it could be scored the way it was when uh, when he was um, the 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 cheapest, not necessarily the uh, the the best value, but but the cheapest of the uh, the three uh, proposals. But Dad, I see you have come off mute. Did you have a, a comment to make? Um, yes, I just wanted to make a little side note that. Um, you know, there is a cost for the service that they provide, but part of the service that is provided uh, that TMTP has provided has been obtaining um, many grants that have helped with improvements within RCT. Um, so I just wanted to make that statement as somebody who worked for eight years with Redwood Coast as a driver, dispatcher, and safety manager, and somebody who's been in, around that for a while and seen the difference in the different styles compared to um, the persons that were in that same position when I came on with the company compared to the current So I, I just wanted to make that comment that it is really important to make that overall consideration that Tamara is um, bringing about that even though they may charge less, are we really going to get that same service? Thank that's you. That's all I have to say. No, thank you. Thank you for that, Vedette. And, 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 and again, um, I, did, I did not mean that question to be in a, in a disparaging uh, position toward Joe and, and his crew. I think they've been doing a great job for RCTA. Um, so I hope that that you fellas didn't uh, didn't take that line of questioning in that way. Valerie, I see you got a hand up too. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for bringing up the tough questions because although sometimes that is uncomfortable, it is good for us to. to we wouldn't have known otherwise, right? So maybe the feedback here is that it shouldn't be called cost, it should be called value. Um, that's good feedback. And Darren, we wouldn't have known that had you not brought it up. So I hope that you never get discouraged from doing that. Um, I will say that his proposal, the, the second place winner's proposal was excellent. It was great. Um, however, TM, um, Joe and his team, TM, what is it called? Consulting. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you guys have done such a remarkable job for us so far and I'm glad that you scored high um, and I'm hoping to continue our relationship with you and with that I'd like to, to make a motion that we approve and I'm going to just get it right this time Aaron TMTP for general manager services I second the motion thank you Valerie and Vedette with a second uh, is there any public comment? I don't believe we have any public, but I'll officially open public comment. I don't believe there's any public to be commenting. No, so, I will, so I will close. It, what was that, Joe? 
Uh, Chair Short, I was just confirming I don't see anyone waiting in the okay. panel on the list. All right, good, good for that confirmation. Thank you very much. So um, with that, we'll bring it back to the board. Any last comments, Ray or Vedette? Um, I'll just say that I've had a lot of experience with bid awards and, um, you know, a couple of times when I was new, I went with low bid and I thought that's, that's what the game was all about, saving money. But, you know, it turned out to be a nightmare for me because, uh, it took a lot more of my time to supervise. I was called out to sites to solve problems for them because they were inexperienced. Um, there was a lot of extras because they didn't see the whole picture. So it ended up costing me more than the highest bid. And I would just say that, yeah, I agree with them that you, know, you really have to weigh all the aspects and look at the value of the bids because um, you may end up working a lot harder in the end and paying a lot more. So that's all I have to say. Thank you, Ray. Any other comments? Vedette, did you have another comment? Oh, no, thanks. I, I hit it by mistake. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, with that, Nicole, if you would poll the vote. Uh, Director Altman? Yes. Director Starkey? Yes. Director Roberts? Yes. Chairman Short? And that's a yes for me. Well, with that, I believe... That is the, uh, oh, is there any announcements, Joe? Uh, I just wanted to, you know, thank the board for placing your trust in us. I know I speak for Dan and Sylvia, uh, although they can speak if they want, because I'm kind of emotional right now, but I appreciate you guys trusting us. This is kind of the un, un, um, uncomfortable part of the process, being a contract employee that I've never really done before too much, and I'm Really glad we got it for uh, another three years at least to work together. And um, we will work to make you proud. Hopefully it's three better years ahead than the last three for our CTA. Well, I'd like to say that you and Dan and, and your whole crew that, that you've earned it. You've, you, have, uh, you have participated in an interview every, every time you've come to a meeting every time you've come to work for us so in you know in in my opinion you guys are doing a great job and i i definitely appreciate your work for us thank you we appreciate you too <laughs> and all of you thank you dan any other comments from the uh from the authority board okay with that we'll let valerie get back to her weekend <laughs> Hi, everyone. All right. Bye. Thank you. Now we're going to see each other at the end of June, right? June yep. 28th yep. is going to be our normal. Yep. Normal meeting coming up in about three weeks. So we won't we won't be uh, apart for long. Thank you. Right. Dan. And we're going to do that by Zoom and then maybe talk about in person later. Yeah, that sounds okay. like a good plan. Yeah, I was okay. planning on Zoom, although I will. I do plan on being in town. So if you guys want to meet or something, we can. But then we'll take a look at the future and talk about going back to Flynn or whatever you guys feel like doing. Okay. Looking forward okay. to it. All right. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. Bye, -bye now. Joe.